Hi everyone, this is Susie with Creative Cafe, and I have a couple of little uh, books I want to show you. These are the what they call the one sheet wonders. They're just the one sheet of 12 by 12 where you make the little books. They've been around forever. I can remember when I first started scrapbooking years ago. Uh, these were on YouTube. But uh, anyway, I've just been playing around, getting back to some of the basics of scrapbooking. I, I just enjoy scrapbooking, and it seems like we've come so far, you know, in the scrapbooking world that we're not really back to the basics. So that's the part of this that I enjoy, is just the basic scrapbooking. And uh, anyway, so I have been playing around with paper bags and, and these little one-sheet mini albums, and I've just been having a ball. So, um, anyway, there are tons of tutorials. I'm not going to list any one tutorial in the description box. You can just go on YouTube, and if you'll punch in one sheet uh, mini albums, it will just bring up tons of uh, tutorials for you to watch. So, uh, the only one that I really followed, that I really watched closely was, <clears throat> excuse me, this one here. And uh, I don't remember the name on the on the uh, video that I watched, but this one here I will put in the description box because I really did follow it uh, pretty much, you know, how she had done it. So, uh, anyway, as for these little ones, I mean, like I said, you can just put on one sheet uh, mini albums and it will bring you up all kinds of tutorials. So, uh, here is... Um, my little one here and I do have pictures in this one I have just kind of wrapped my seam binding around the around the book and uh, I did attach it under here so that it would stay put I used a lot of coffee stained just coffee paper on here the uh, paper is Authentique's uh, Felicity and it was the collection kit so it actually came with the paper and it came with these tear out little tag paper tags so uh <clears throat> anyway that's what i used on this uh the flowers i just had don't even know who they're by but uh, uh the washi tape i happened to got uh happened to uh pick up at tuesday morning some time ago uh that's what my sister and i used when we went on vacation i took the limited supplies so we could make our books along the way and this was the tape that I picked up for that. Anyway, it was yellow. This is all yellow and blues. And it's so pretty that I just used that washi tape to to uh, make my book binding and things. So, anyway, uh, you open it up. And I did use a lot, of course, seam binding, which I love. Um, here is my niece and my great-niece and my great-nephew, which I absolutely adore. Uh... Anyway, spend a lot of time with them. <clears throat> Here is uh, the little tag I made. Uh, Isaiah is supposed to be a superhero in this one, so I titled it Super Isaiah. And, of course, just used my typewriter there to, to uh, journal a little bit. And then here are uh, them again. And their sunglasses. They're just so cute, them two are. Uh, these are some little tags that I bought at Tuesday morning. And uh, the, I haven't seen them again. I bought several packages and I'm glad I did because I haven't seen them again. Anyway, I just uh, used my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter there too. And then a, then a tag, Boundless Energy. <coughs> and then... Uh, when my sister and I went to New Mexico, we went through Roswell, and I picked up the kids some of the Martian glasses there, sunglasses, and they were showing them off. And it says, my favorite Martians. And then there is Isaiah with his little spider glasses. And I really like this little book, and I will probably, probably do more of these books. I'll probably make my sister one and things. This is just a really fun little little book to keep and then there was Isaiah's first trip to the dentist and I just used some seam binding there here's another one he is getting ready to go to first grade so he got his hair cut that day so I just journaled a little bit on some vintage paper or coffee stained paper there 
uh, I used a lot of this burlap, and I have been using this quite a bit. I bought this at Joann's, I believe. Just this burlap paper, and I love it. Ah, oh, this one here I didn't get a picture on. Well, I'll have to fix that. I thought I had pictures on all of it. And then, uh, oops, got a little bit of glue. And then here is uh, Tuesday. Her daddy was making balloon animals for them and things that day. And there's Isaiah. He's supposed to be a knight. His balloon's there. And then here is uh, Isaiah with uh, my sister making uh, monster cookies for Halloween. <laughs> and there is some more monster cookies. But anyway, this is just a cute little book. This was really fun uh, to do. And I just put seam binding in, in all of the little creases here to keep them from tearing apart after they're open so much. <clears throat> but anyway, that's that little book. That was fun. I really enjoyed this one. And like I said, I'll probably make more of that one. And then here is just a little Halloween. This is Authentiques. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, Halloween paper. It's her new one. I had picked it up the other day when I bought some of this other authentic paper. And then I just used a little bit of bling and, of course, seed binding. This is a Recollections flower. And I just made, uh, there's another little inventory tag for journaling I thought would be good there. These are a little smaller uh, where you have to put this glue. So uh, I, didn't, I couldn't really put a tag and make it look like the others. I'd have had to cut it down too much. Here's a little tag and then of course a picture on the back. And uh, I plan to put some pictures on that when there's another little just journaling tag there. And you can see how much I had to cut it down to get it in here. <coughs> Excuse me. After you get the, the uh, glue stuck down there. And then here's another one. Picture on the back. And then this one, I just, what I had cut off, I just kind of put in there, and I thought I might set, I don't know, something in there, in that pocket, besides pictures. And then here's another little tag, and I just backed all of it in orange for the photo. And same way here. There's just another big tag, and then, of course, another little. And that will be that little, that little book. And like I said, one sheet of 12 by 12 is all it took to make that. And then uh, I didn't have any black washi tape, so I actually just had to use black uh, cardstock to kind of put a little binding on that. And then here is the Monomer, uh, Monomer uh, from Graphic 45. That's what I used for this little book. It does have the little chipboard covers. Let me get it untied here. <coughs> And uh, anyway, this is uh, the page or the pages on it, and then each one I put a little tag in. So I feel like I got a little glue there. Yeah. And then uh, I used the little cutouts here of the women in different places. Here is a just a little a place for a photo there. It just, they'll just have to be tiny photos or uh, you could put a piece of paper for journaling there. And then here is, you know, another little cutout. And this is love notes. And I just stapled the seam binding on these. I didn't tie them. And then here's another little and you just have a little place for a picture besides your picture here. You know, this could be a bigger picture here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, of course, you know, your picture's there. And this little tag, I think I had to repeat. Yeah, that's love notes. I just kind of had to repeat some of them because I didn't have, they don't have any different ones. So, anyway, just places for pictures. So, anyway, this is the little, the little, uh, Monomore from Graphic 45. But anyway, that's my little um, uh, books just from the one sheet of paper. And like I said, uh, the only tutorial I'll probably list will be this one here because the others just come a dime a dozen on the, 
on YouTube. So you can kind of basically watch several of them and get it. There's lots of tutorials. So anyway, thanks so much for watching.